Draymond start regardless of how of how close uh, Marcus is? Uh, you know, Trayvon uh, has, has earned the right to be the starter right now. I mean, you know, we've got a lot of competition at corner. And, uh, but, you know, I mean, no saying can't make the club in the tub. You know, I mean, Marcus has had some tough breaks. I mean, and you don't have, nobody's entitled around here. Uh, there's, there's, good, there's good players. And, you know, that's just the way it is. But uh, Marcus will be fine. He'll, 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 hopefully he'll be back this week. But if not, he'll be back here soon. And, and he's, He'll be right in the mix. Marcus is a really good player. I think Marcus is one of those guys that, that uh, you know, when it's all said and done, he'll have a play, at the, have a chance to play at the next level. Uh, he's, he's fast. He's long. He's got really good skills. He's put some strength together. He just, we, we, you haven't been able to, to see it much this year because he's had some unfortunate injuries. You know, he got hurt in camp uh, early, missed a good bit of camp, and uh, with a uh, hamstring, and then uh, you know this the midfoot sprain fight through that. But he'll be back and, you know, but he'll play. I mean, who, who runs out there first? That's kind of a week-to-week -week deal, to be honest with you, uh, right now at that position. Uh, we've got good players there that are competing every week to to go be the guy. And you said DJ Greenlee, uh, he had a sprained MCL. Yeah, he's out. Again. He's out. Um, it, also, of course, without Garrett Williams, uh, how ready do you think Cannon Smith and uh, J.C. Chalk are ready to step up? Yeah, well, Cannon uh, did a nice job for us uh, last week. He actually came in and, and, and I thought he played really well. Uh, he did some good things for us in the run game. Uh, Shadell Bell uh, would be the next guy. And then J.C. Chalk. Uh, so it's a, more, more of an opportunity for J.C. to get some more work in practice this week. But, but um, uh, I think we'll, we'll be more than ready. And those guys are very capable and uh, expect them to play well. Coach Tagg, you also did They've, they've been really good. We've, we've only been out of position a few times. We had a couple. Of, one, one, we had one bust on our DBs the other night. The other one was our, our one of our backers wasn't where he was supposed to be. But uh, they've been in position, and uh, you know we haven't had uh, a million pass interferences. I know we had two uh, pretty quick in the Auburn game, but we really kind of cleaned it up, playing with a much better technique. Uh, we, we didn't play as well with our eyes the other night. Um, and some of our zone stuff that we were doing, but they've been just much more disciplined as a group. But and we, I kind of knew that coming into it. I, I, y'all, I heard y'all heard me say that many times. I really felt like our maybe the, the best secondary we've had, the deepest, most versatile group that we've had. Uh, and uh, so you know, uh, we haven't really, I don't think, come even close to what I think we, our potential is. But after three games, uh, and, and you know couple of top 15 matchups uh, we've we've held our own and, and have done a pretty good job uh, so uh, I like the depth I like the fact that it's it's unfortunate that uh, uh, we had to you know we had a couple guys go out uh, van got hurt Muse got kicked out and uh, but we've had guys go in and play and, and play in critical situations and so you know I like the depth that we've been able to create after three games and uh, we've got good versatility there. Our corners, we've got a bunch of corners that can play both sides. Uh, and, you know, we don't talk enough about Ryan Carter. Uh, Ryan, Ryan Carter, man, he, he's, he's a, he is one of our MVPs. I mean, he is a very good football player. I mean, outstanding football player. Um, does a lot of things that people don't notice. Uh, he's very versatile. Mm -hmm. And uh, he could go play safety for us this week. And, and do a heck of a job. Um, so just just really like where they are. I like how they're competing. Uh, it's, it's a high level of competition every single week. Uh, they're all getting opportunities to play. So I, we've never really been able to rotate like we're able to rotate right now in that secondary. Uh, so that's pretty fun to be able to see those guys, uh, you know, all get a chance to play. How beneficial do you think it, it is to have Coach Khan back there coaching the safeties, uh, having two coaches as opposed to just Coach Reed? Well, I think it's, it's critical. That's, that's one of the reasons I, 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 I went that direction. You know, we're gonna we're gonna come January. We're gonna have two D line coaches as well because uh, I think that's important. But uh, that's why I took both defensive GAs and put them with the D line uh, to to be able to help Todd uh, on the field. But you know, there's just so much time that you're you've got five and six DBs in the game, and it's just it's a lot. 
has a lot going on in today's uh, style of play. So uh, I thought it was important uh, to, to really, you know, just, just the attention to details, uh, the time it takes, you know, it's, it's freed Mike up to really, to really uh, just focus on those corners and the technical aspect of that uh, and have, have a little more time uh, to, to really devote to just those guys because uh, they're kind of in their own world and, and as, as far as what they've got to do. And then those safeties are so involved in the run fits. I mean, it's just, I mean, they're, they spend a lot of time with linebackers and uh, it's been really good. Mickey's done a heck of a job. Uh, and uh, I think we've got everybody in the right spot. And, you know, I'm glad to get Denzel back. You know, Denzel missed a little time. He had a great camp for us and I think Denzel is, is an outstanding uh, young talent as well. So we just got a good group. I saw Nolan Turner go in and play well the other night. So Mickey's done a good job with that, that, that segment. Do you feel like Kavian Beaster separated just a little bit with what he did last week compared to the way he played? Uh, I thought they all played well. You know, I mean, I think uh, I think he he uh, had the most production um, with his opportunities, and uh, you know, for sure, I thought he I thought he. Played a heck of a game, and, and again, when you've got competition like we've got at, at that position, just like corner, uh, just like safety, you know, you, you've got to maximize your opportunities and take advantage of your opportunities. And uh, you know, so uh, that's that's again, all those guys are going to have opportunities to play, and uh, from week to week, you probably see somebody uh, get hot. You know, when you got multiple guys, but I'm really proud of Tavian and how. He, I played uh, last week, and hopefully that will carry over uh, uh, into this next opponent. We've seen flashes of both youth, you know, with the muff uh, kickoffs and talent with the 80-yard run with Tavian Feaster. How has he uh, worked his way into the running back depth chart, and what does he have to do to kind of take over, step ahead? Travis? Yes, sir. Uh, he just got to take advantage of his opportunities and keep learning. You know, he's a young player. Uh, you, obviously, you can see the talent. Uh, but, again, you, you're, you know, he's not the only player we have. You know, there's you got there's there's a lot of water uh, that goes under the bridge, and uh, you just got he's got to put the work in, and he's got to be an every day, be a dependable, trustable, accountable, every down type of a player uh, to, and then take advantage of his opportunities. You know, that's that's the big thing I tell guys. I mean, whether you play ten plays, you play fifty plays, how'd you do? You know, you want more plays? Well, how about how about let's do a good job with the plays you got. All right, you know, if you play five plays and, and, and you had one plus and you want more plays, uh, that's not the way to go. You know, so I, that's at every position. So whatever opportunity you get, you got to take advantage of it. And I think Travis has done that uh, outside of, you know, he's got to settle down a little bit on the kick return. You know, that's just a matter of just nerves, young guy, because uh, he can, he's got excellent hands and uh, he's done a great job in practice. That's why we put him back there. And uh, he just, got to take it to the game and you know the, uh, his, his ability to run the ball I mean, it was an inside zone call uh, the other night and I mean, he didn't even run where he was supposed to run but he just bounced it and he just that's how he is he just runs with desperation every single play and that's what we love about him he's got that big play capability but but you got to be a down in down out type of a guy so just continuing to learn the system and uh, put his work in and compete because uh, he's competing with some, he's competing with some really good players at that position. All, all have made great contributions for us. How do you manage the 